What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Drisco coming at you guys with another video and today we'll be going over how to level up in Madden 21's The Yard Game Mode right now. The game not even out, you can level up. So we're going to go ahead and get into that information. Let's get into it. Now before we do get into this information, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It'll be highly appreciated. Now getting into the information um, on the screen right here, I do have some screenshots that have already been leaked, but these screenshots um they basically had the message that we were all wondering kind of um how to level up basically you can level up in madden mobile which is dropping today at 2 p.m eastern time if i'm not mistaken it's 2 p.m eastern time it will be dropping and you can level up in uh in the yard which is going to be in madden 21 on console you could level up on madden mobile and it's going to transfer over everything every level every time you level up on madden mobile it's going to transfer right over to console so day one when the game drops you're already going to be like a good a good level basically because your madden mobile stuff is going to is going to transfer over um and, and just everything you unlock basically because if we go out of here uh let me see if i can find it um let's see uh let's see where is the screenshot at um right here so this screenshot right here also says that any gear, any uh, unlock, unlock stuff that you get in the yard basically on Madden Mobile will transfer over to Madden 21 console. So when it comes out, you have all the gear, everything that you, everything that you unlocked already. Um, I don't know like what level you can get to. I don't know how fast you can level up yet. Um, but. Uh, we're gonna get into the gameplay and stuff after after we go over this but basically yeah you can unlock a bunch of gear and stuff for your player um and this is just another screenshot um for the first time you can create your own unique character and participate on his behalf in a new dynamic events mode the yard yeah luckily they are going to be doing dynamic events basically um it says participate in matches around the world and become an nfl legend I'm pretty sure matches around the world means it's going to be online, so you can do it online, basically. Um, well, well, I feel like the console version is going to be online. Madden Mobile, I think Madden Mobile is just going to be like a story mode, kind of. You're not going to be facing players, but you're going to be facing like CPUs and stuff. But like I said, you will still level up and it will still transfer over to, um, to Madden 21 on console. Uh, it says, enjoy all of your favorite features of Madden Mobile, NFL Mobile, create your own character, change his appearance, and achieve recognition. And the new dynamic mini mode, the yard, uh, the ground. Uh, so on, on Madden Mobile, it's going to be called Underground, basically. Um, the yard underground. And it says, use the equipment you received in the yard underground on Madden Mobile devices, console, and PCs. That's basically saying it's going to transfer over. Complete the game and earn rewards in all versions of Madden, creating your own. So, um, I'm guessing you can't like reach max level. That's what I'm guessing because it says complete the game. Um, so I'm guessing that means you can't reach like the max max level or whatever the max is like where you get all the gear and stuff on console. I'm pretty sure you can't reach it on Madden Mobile, but you can get a good amount of way there. Um, and at least you're not going to be level one on day one of Madden 21. Um, so yeah, that that's all the screenshots that we have. So now let's get into the gameplay. Okay, Okay, so now getting into what they were basically talking about in the stream that, that they just had, basically. Um, basically, they were saying that this is basically going to be a campaign. Everything that you go through on Madden Mobile is going to be a campaign. When you go on the console, it's going to be a multiplayer. But this on, on Madden Mobile, they want to make it a, a campaign. So basically, you just grind it out. And then once you get on the console, you, you hop into multiplayer and stuff. Um, but basically, you're going to start in Miami. And you can basically unlock stuff from the get code. The minute you start playing, you're going to start unlocking stuff for your uniform. Um, if you look right here, this person right here, this dude right here is basically an NPC. Ba basically, uh, I'm pretty sure he's like a person on your team or something. That they said you basically like, you come by people every time you go to, like to a different city or a different uh, stage or something, something like that. You're going to be traveling across the world basically to play in these games, these 6v6 games. Well, 5v5 games, it says right here. It's going to be 5v5. So every time you, you know, go to a different city or something, it's going to be 5v5. You're facing another team and you're basically like on your way, you're meeting people who are like significant to you basically. Um, and on console, it's going to be 6v6. On here, it's 5v5. Um, but basically, yeah, you're just going to be you're gonna be getting stuff, getting stuff, getting stuff, getting gear that you can take over the console. Um, and it, it, it looks really nice. This does look really nice. For, for mobile, this looks really nice. It looks like people are really going to start playing this. 
um let's go ahead and look at the gameplay um so uh look right here um let's see right here so, so this is basically what it's gonna look like on madden mobile um 5v5 there is a lineman i'm surprised there is a lineman um so yeah well one two yeah so this, yeah this is five yeah five right here so i'm kind of surprised it is lineman i thought they wouldn't do a lineman um so hopefully for console they don't because nobody wants to play lineman nobody wants to be a defense no, nobody wants to do that bro so hopefully they do change that at least um but for the most part this does look pretty nice now if you do take a look at some of these players some things that i noticed some people do have hoodies on their jerseys like they have they have hoodies under their jerseys that's a nice touch i like that they haven't ever had that in the game and now it's finally coming into the game um some people have their 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 uh their jerseys rolled up some people have different colored under like undershirts some people have different colored uh like arm sleeves some people some people have different colored pants like this is actually like really good customization this is literally just for madden mobile this is just madden mobile just imagine what this is gonna look like on console now this is just madden mobile and they have all this type of customization like this is actually gonna be wild um so basically they, they were just uh in the stream they were just talking about everything that's going on um and like i said these are just gonna be cpus you're just gonna be facing cpus um you can basically make whatever person you want um you can create your avatar however you want him to, to be basically um my my tip would be make the player the, the player that you would want to have in the, the console make that player like the the player that you would want like take it serious don't like make some like random stupid player with just random stuff on it make some make some that you would actually want um if you want a wide receiver make a wide receiver if you want to give me make a quarterback or something like that don't just do random stuff um we do got some more gameplay right here i'm pretty sure this is a guy catching the ball um but like i said the person he does have a hoodie he does have a hoodie under his jersey. Under his pads, he has a hoodie. This has never been in the game. This is a real life thing that EA has never talked about. We we, we see it in the NFL all the time. And this is finally in the game. So I'm surprised it's actually here. Um let's keep going through this stuff. Um so right here it says, um uh it says, Hey, you just played your first game in the yard. You should be able to purchase and equip your first gear item with cred. So basically you get cred every single game. I'm pretty sure every single game you will get cred to purchase gear um so that that's a good thing and like i said you will level up because and during the beta they did show people could level up basically um but yeah i feel like this is a super w now checking out the events again like i said there's gonna be events and the events are basically just the games that you play i'm pretty sure um so basically this is just saying how much credit you're gonna get how much your player is gonna level up uh if i'm not mistaken this how much you're gonna level but this is how much the how much credit you'll get um and then it says right here let's follow gabe's lead and check out the new 5v5 game rules um so basically the, the these players that are going to be in your games and that they'll be like up here and stuff like that these are basically going to be like the npcs the player that um is just like that's talking and stuff like that the, the player that that has a narrative behind him basically um then that's going to be every single event there's going to be players like that um so every single game you're going to find an npc or just somebody who's capping back at you and stuff like that someone who who, who you follow basically um, and that that's how the events and stuff is gonna go every single game. Um, and like I said, this is gonna be a run where you're gonna travel, travel, travel. They didn't say how many games it's gonna be, how many games you'll be able to play. Um, but there like there is a completion to it. There's a story mode completion to it, and you're gonna want to complete it. And now, last thing I do want to talk about is basically how um, some stuff is gonna be hard to get. They did say that some items are gonna be exclusive to mobile. Some items are gonna be exclusive to console. Some items is just gonna be hard to get. Some people will have exclusive items that nobody would know how they got, but they you have to figure it out. So basically, there, there's gonna be some exclusive items that are just gonna be hard to get. Um, and I feel like that's a good thing also. I feel like some stuff should be harder to get than other stuff. If like it's a certain visor, a certain pair of gloves, the hoodie on the back or your jersey, like some stuff should just be, should be hard to get. Um, and so basically, they didn't say how the level up system is gonna work, but they just said how cred shit, the cred is cred is gonna like be able to buy uh, gear and stuff like that. Um, so basically, the level up, I feel like it's probably just gonna be um, level one. I'm just gonna get you certain stuff, like probably certain abilities or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's how basically this is all gonna work. Like I said, make sure make sure to download Madden Mobile at 2 p.m. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's when the update will go live, or whatever for Madden 21. Um, so yeah, at 2 p.m. Eastern, you want to get it. But all right, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more. And until next time, peace.